guys welcome back to my channel so for today's video we're gonna be doing a sephora haul so we are gonna be doing a little one it's not nothing crazy i just had some things i want to stock up on like i was running out of and there was also a few things that were new that i've been wanting to try out a lot of them were face products and lip products that's pretty much all i got was like foundation concealers and like lip products so yeah don't mind my appearance because i literally was just doing makeup i haven't showered nothing so i literally just threw on makeup and started filming so don't mind my appearance sure subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy it and if you want to see what i picked up from sephora then just keep on watching okay so there was a couple other things that i wanted to get I wanted to get the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation, but it did end up selling out. And I kept seeing a lot of people with like oily skin or even people with dry skin saying like it wouldn't work for oily skin, that it would just be too oily and wouldn't wear throughout the day. So I'm still kind of like iffy on that. We'll see, I guess. Like I might watch like people's reviews. I did watch Babs Beauty and she is like combination, I think. And it did get pretty oily on her like by the end of the day, but I don't know. I still really want to try it, but if it's going to be like a greasy mess, I don't want to use that. And then I also was going to pick up the Rare Beauty bronzer stick, but I cannot figure out what shade I want. The Power Boost, like which is the lightest one, seems really, really orange. And I have heard that it's really orange, but then Happy Soul is working on people who are like way tanner than me. But then there's also people that are like as fair as I am and they're using it too. So I'm leaning towards Happy Soul, but I don't know. I'll probably like wait to the sale to pick that up because I just don't really know what shade I want. So yeah, those were the two other things I was kind of wanting, but ended up not getting. So. so first thing is the Necessaire Body Wash. This is the fragrance free. I've talked about Necessaire a lot on my channel. I love Necessaire. I just needed a refill on the body wash. And I should have got it on their website because they now have like a refill. It comes in like an aluminum like tin bottle. And it fills up two of these. So next time I'll probably just get that instead of buying a bottle. But it's literally, I'll show you what it looks like if you're curious. But this is what it looks like. You just like twist this up and then you can use it. But I just needed a refill because I don't have much left. And this is like my favorite. And then I did get two moisturizers. So I wanted a different nighttime moisturizer because right now I'm using the Wishful the like niacinamide one i'll put a picture of it i don't really like that one i'll probably talk about it maybe like in an empties video or something i'm trying to use it up now i'm just putting it on like my chest and like my neck and stuff but it's just like it's really glowy which looks pretty but it's really thick and really greasy and i feel like it does eventually sink into the skin but it takes a while and it kind of just feels heavy on the skin it's greasy I feel like it almost sits on the skin like it never fully penetrates and hydrates yeah like I just felt like I needed a moisturizer that was really just gonna hydrate so I am I did end up getting which this is new this is the Ula Henriksen strength trainer peptide boost moisturizer it says to deeply hydrate improve skin strength firmness and elasticity with vegan peptides ceramides and collagen so I feel like this would be a really nice um nighttime one because i did use this last night and it is a little bit of a thicker cream but it does sink in so so well and it feels so nice on the skin this is what it looks like but it's a little bit thicker than i thought like when i touch it like nothing comes off like a cream you kind of like really dig in there but it feels so nice and hydrating it smells nice it has just like a really like light clean scent to it which i really like so i'll keep you updated on if i oh, i can't get the lid on okay if i end up liking it and then i also picked up the ula hansen sea rush brightening gel cream this one is a bright and age defying 24 hour hydration targets fine lines and wrinkles with three sources of vitamin c's and rows of winter extract but I actually got this one because I wanted a nice daytime moisturizer. And I don't have one that I really love for the daytime. But I felt like this one would be nice and hydrating. It has vitamin C, which I do love vitamin C. And I did use this today. Again, it's not too heavy, but it is a little bit of like a thicker cream. Not quite as thick as that one, 
but it's still a little bit thicker. It gives your skin like a nice glow. It smells like citrus. I actually really do like this. Again, I'll keep you up updated. Now we're going to get into more like the makeup-y stuff. So the first thing I got was the Say Glowy Super Gel. This is a dewy illuminating fluid. Again, you know I'm getting into the more like dewy skin and I've been watching a lot of makeup by Kelly Ann, which I feel like she's really blowing up right now. Like everyone loves her. But she really does like this primer. She like uses it as a primer. She'll use it as a highlighter. So I thought I would pick it up. For one, I was really surprised this was in a glass bottle. For some reason, I always thought it was plastic. And you can get a mini size of, size of this. I think it's literally half of this. But I used this today and I actually got this package yesterday and I just put some over my moisturizer. And it looked really nice and glowy, but it didn't look glittery, which is what I was kind of worried about was that it was going to be kind of glittery but it's not at all it just has a nice pearl to it that just gives your skin this nice healthy radiant like lit from within glow again we'll see how this wears underneath my foundation but it did look really nice like it didn't look oily it just looked like healthy like dewy skin which is what i've been really liking lately now i'm gonna do let's do concealers because i went ahead and pulled this one out so i wasn't gonna pick up any concealers but i couldn't help myself so i ended up getting the rose ink luminous hydrating concealer so i got mine in the shade lx010 um i'm hoping this color will work for me it is a little bit yellowy i'll have a swatch of it actually but i've heard a lot of good things about this concealer i feel like a lot of people like this i really like the packaging again rose ink just like i feel like this is what kkw's packaging should have been i'm excited to try this i love the like the big doe foot on it it seems like it's going to have a nice like medium to full coverage but we will see let me know if you want to see this in like a trying new makeup and then I also picked up the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is a smoothing, brightening concealer with a vitamin C and mastic. I don't really know what mastic is, but I got mine in the shade SC.25 or Mallow. So the main reason I picked this up was because of... I heard Julia Adams talk about this concealer and um katie fawn i heard them two both talk about this and i know they really like it and i felt like this would be a really good everyday concealer like i'm wearing it today and i feel like it's not it's great for everyday because it's nice medium coverage that you i don't know if you can build this one up but for like an everyday i don't want like a full cake face concealer i really want one that's just like my skin but better so you can still kind of see like I don't know how to explain it. So, like, I don't want my... Like, it looks really nice from what I can see. I'm sorry if I keep scratching my neck. This shirt is kind of itching me. It's like a wool material, and it's kind of, like, itching my neck. But right now it looks really nice. And I don't know what is going on with my skin. I don't know if it's where it's been so cold and windy. Or if it's, like, a mixture of also using that moisturizer that does not hydrate my skin enough. But I am, like, really flaky, like around here around here around my nose around my mouth like i don't ever get that dry and flaky so i don't know what's going on that's kind of why i also wanted to get some new moisturizers because like my skin has just been so dry but even though i can see the dry like where it is flaking honestly no makeup's really going to go over that really well because it is like texture, it's just flaky skin, so nothing really is gonna go over that that nice. What is this piece of hair? But I think that it's looking as nice as it can. It would look a lot better if my under eyes weren't so dry right now. But other than that, it actually does look nice. It does have like a nice medium coverage, I would say. I did add like a dot more, but it is definitely more of a medium. I'll keep you updated on how it wears. I'll do like, you know, my Sephora haul update like I always do. And then I did get two foundations. I know, I know. So the first one is what I'm wearing today. This is the Light Reflecting Foundation by NARS. I got mine in the shade Light One Oslo. So this is the one I was kind of like in between with, with the Charlotte Tilbury and this one, because I felt like people were kind of comparing them 
So this one seemed to be wearing longer, wearing better, and just looking better throughout the day. So yeah, and I did get the shade Oslo. It is a little bit pink for me, but it still works really nice. It does have a pump, I guess, in ours. Finally learned that we want a pump. We don't want to have to buy it for a $50 foundation, <laughs> but yeah. So again, I think this looks really nice on the skin. It's a nice like medium coverage. You can keep it super sheer. I don't know how you could build this up. I'm sure you can, but I think it's meant to be kind of more of a light to medium coverage. But you can still see my blemishes, but the skin's nice and even. It looks like my skin, but better. Like, it does look really nice on the skin. Obviously, I'll have to see how it wears, but yeah. And then I also got the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. So I've been wanting this one forever. It's been out for years and years and years, and I feel like makeup artists rave about it. I feel like YouTubers rave about it, so I finally picked it up. I thought maybe I'd compare these two. I know this one is supposed to be like a more medium to full coverage. It is a sheer glow, which means it's not sheer coverage. It's a sheer glow, so it's not a ton of glow. So I did end up buying the pump because obviously I don't, I hate the ones like Estee Lauder or like this one where it's like you pour it out. I don't know why these big brands sell you a $50 foundation and they can't provide you with like a $2 pump. And yeah, I know it's just a way to get more money, but it's so freaking annoying. So what did I buy? I bought the pump. So this is the NARS foundation pump. This was $6, which is freaking ridiculous. So I do have the pump. I got mine in the shade Oslo. The one thing I do like about the pump is you can lock it so that's on and then right here is off so you can't pump it which does make me feel better about it because once you get the pump the lid won't go on anymore. I actually tried it yesterday and it doesn't go on. I don't know why they wouldn't make a pump that would work with the lid but whatever so yeah just keep that in mind if you buy the pump the lid won't go on it anymore. But I just would rather have the pump than have to pour it out on my hand and waste a lot of product or make a mess. So I did pick that up. Haven't tried that out. Excited to. And then the rest is lip products. So did I go crazy with lips? I did. I really, I don't know what happened. I don't know. This is where things got a little chaotic. So the first thing I got was the Ilia Balmy Tint Hydrating Lip Balm. This has Sally Cornea, Sal Cornea, I don't know how you pronounce that, Shea Butter and Rose Hip Seed Oil. I got mine in the shade of Wonderlust. I kind of thought, like I seen this on the model and it just looked like a bitten like lip look, you know, like that popsicle kind of like sheer wash of like, oh, like berry red. So this is what it looks like. And obviously it's just kind of balmy. So it does have a little bit more color payoff than I was expecting, but it's still like, very very sheer and I would probably just like put it on the lips and kind of sheer it out with my finger to kind of give it that tinted look I guess I could put a little on when I do it like that it just gives like the like lightest like wash of colors so I was excited to pick that up and then I also picked up the makeup by Mario Mo Moisture Glow Plumping Lip Serum. I got mine in the shade Bare Glow. That was what I was wearing before. So I do really like this. The I have a couple complaints with it. I like the formula. I like that it's nice and moisturizing. And it is a very like dewy and like shiny on the lips. But, oh, and it does have a plumping effect, which I just noticed today that that said plumping. I don't know how I missed that but I put it on today and I did actually feel a plump it does have like a very like it's not like extreme like buxom or two-faced or fenty heat it's like a very like light minty like tingling feel but it's nothing crazy but what I like dislike about it is one I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it is extremely extremely emollient which I understand because like it's supposed to be like that really hydrated look. I hope you can see like how like emollient it is. If you have tried the Fenty Beauty Slip Shines and I know a lot of people were having problems with it saying like it melted everywhere or it made such a mess because it couldn't keep its shape and 
they were just like super emollient and creamy and they kind of would just like lose their shape and they kind of fall apart this is a very much like that and my other complaint is he made it like that clicky which is fine but then you can't roll it back down is my only problem and since these are so emollient and so creamy that i'm afraid that if you roll it up too much it's gonna just break or it's literally just gonna like melt these are super creamy now don't get me wrong i do like the formula i like that it's nice and soft and moisturizing on the lips and it gives you a nice like plump tingling to it i just wish she would have changed the packaging for something that is so like emollient and creamy because since if you roll it up too much you're not gonna be able to roll it back down and it probably will just fall apart so yeah but i also do like the outer packaging it's just very simple i do like it i just wish the packaging was different and then i got three no yeah three of the makeup by mario ultra suede lipsticks i mentioned these in my best of beauty so i do love these i got two more nudes and then i got the a more bold shade actually i noticed yesterday when i was swatching these that if you have the color sam by makeup by mario in this lipstick formula it is the exact dupe for pillow talk by charlotte tilbury now this one are still expensive don't get me wrong but they're not 35 dollars like the charlotte tilbury so if you want pillow talk but you don't want to spend that much but you're still willing to splurge this these are a great formula and Sam is literally the same shade as Pillow Talk by Charlotte Tilbury. So I got the shade Kate. I probably won't swatch them in the video because I'll have like swatches on my hands. And then I have the shade Nicole. And then I got the shade Sierra. So Sierra, I think, is like the lightest nude. It's like the peachiest one. And I think it's a little bit light. Like I think it's the lightest one that he has other than Aaron so there is sam no sierra which is like a nice like peachy light nude perfect as like a topper shade or wearing on its own with like a deeper lip liner then we have the shade kate which is just like a nice everyday like pinky shade and then we have the shade nicole so nicole is like the boldest one it's like a nice burgundy deep like brown shade i cannot wait to wear this because it's so pretty i love this packaging i love by him i love the magnetic closure i love the clean white and black i love that it has that nice like velvet like suede a soft matte look to it and yeah so picked up a couple more shades of that i did pick up the new fenty beauty gloss bomb heat this is the universal lip luminizer and plumper i got the shade lemon lava which is the one that just came out i had been wanting another one of these but then i was like do i really need a heat version of fussy and fenty glow when i already have both of those shades so i don't know but she this one is brand new she don't have anyone any other color and other her other formulas like this so it's just like a sheer wash of color with like a little bit of like gold and like yeah i guess just like gold maybe a little bit of pink glitter in it this one i don't know <laughs> to me the fenty bottom the fenty beauty heat glosses are like the spiciest glosses i've tried again i haven't tried the original Too faced lip injections but between the ones that i have and the buxom this is the spiciest this is like the most like tingling this like literally i hate to say it but it kind of burns i'm not gonna lie like this one i can feel this one it literally feels like if you like ate like something spicy and it got all over your lips that's what this one feels like to me this one out of the Too faced one the like what is this the one that i have I'll put it like, it's like the Too Faced, it's the ones I just mentioned in my Best of Beauty. The Too Faced like lip injection, like something gloss. It's not the original ones. And the Buxom ones, this one is like the most tingling and like the most like extreme to me. But I still like the formula, but that one is like pretty tingly. And then I picked up some lips from the Anastasia collection. 
this was so hard to find a shade i felt like call me crazy if you have been noticing i felt like it was so hard to find swatches of the anastasia lipsticks i know she did like some swatches but she didn't swatch all of them and she kind of was just like swatching her favorites and she was like swatching the reds and it's kind of like we know what a red's gonna look like I don't know I, it was hard to find swatches of the lip liners and the lipsticks so i went on their website they did have like lip swatches but again it's still kind of hard to tell but they didn't have swatches of the lip liners so it was hard finding a shade so i did get two lip liners i got dusty rose and deep taupe i know deep taupe was her favorite and then dusty rose i just thought if anything is like mac Whirl, i'm gonna love it because mac Whirl is like my favorite lip liner ever so i do like these are square i don't know if you're really gonna be able to see but she made them so that they wouldn't like roll around like once you set them down they're not gonna like keep rolling everywhere which i do really like and there are wooden pencil but they do feel creamy they don't feel like mac or nyx where they're a little bit more of a drier formula they kind of remind me of the makeup by mario maybe a little bit drier so i do have again i'll have swatches the pinkier one is Dusty Rose, and the more brown one is Deep Taupe. It's going to look a little bit different in, on camera, but I will have swatches of it. So, yeah, I didn't end up using this today because I didn't plan on filming, but here we are. I probably would have used, like, an actual lipstick if I was filming, but I'm excited to try these. And then I got three of their lipsticks. Ugh. So, I got Taupe Beige, Praline, and Haze. So, I kind of just got all nudie shades. I know they have like a satin and a matte formula. All of these are the satin. I noticed on their, like on Sephora, it seemed like all the satin ones were the nude ones. And all the matte ones were the more bold shades. So, I did kind of notice that. But I love the packaging on these. It's like a rose gold. Can you see? And it has like this like textured like bottom it just looks really nice like luxurious and just like that like classic lipstick so again i probably won't swatch these because i am gonna have swatches of them but i have a taupe beige and then i think taupe beige was her favorite nude too i could be wrong but i'm pretty sure and then we have praline and Oh, this one is super light. I'm not going to lie. This one's a little, pretty light. But I thought this would be good like a mixing shade or topping it on top of another lipstick or wearing it with like a dark lip liner. So this is in the shade Haze, which I think is their lightest color or maybe second to lightest. So yeah, those are the ones that I picked up. Everything I picked up. So nothing crazy, but there was a few things I wanted to stock up on. And there was a few things that, like, there's just been a lot of new launches lately that I've been wanting to try out and try out for you guys so you can hear my reviews. So, yeah. That's the end of this video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if, you have, if you're oily skin and you've tried the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Let me know how it wore on you and if you liked it. If you tried out the Rare Beauty Bronzer Stick and you're kind of close to my complexion, let me know what color you got. And if you're not my complexion, let me know if you like the formula. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want to see any of this in the first impressions. And, yeah. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.